Hi, I'm Andrea Morgan and welcome to my port wine tasting today. I'm in the town of Vila Nova de Gaia where there are a multitude of port houses such as Dow's, Taylor's, Ramos Pintos, and Graham's located along the river walk. They're open to the public so you can schedule a cellar tour or drop in for a tasting at your leisure. Vila Nova de Gaia is a city in Porto, Portugal, situated downstream from the Douro Valley and on the Douro River. The Douro Valley is arguably the oldest demarcated wine growing region in the world. The British played a huge role in the development of the port wine industry. They struck a deal with the Portuguese in the 17th and 18th centuries to ship wine to Great Britain because they were at war with France and boycotting French wines. Sooner or later, it was discovered that fortifying the wines protected and preserved them on their way to Great Britain. Today, clear grape spirit or brandy is added during the fermentation as opposed to after aging. This leaves the grapes natural sugars, which accounts for the sweetness in the wine as well as the higher alcohol levels. Although there are white and rosé port wines, we are going to focus on red port wine for our tasting today. I've chosen one of my favorite port producers, Rams, and have poured several different styles to illustrate how diverse port production can be. The primary grapes commonly used in red port wine production are Tariga Nacional, Tariga Franca, Tinta Roriz, Tinta Baracao, Tinta Cao, and Tinta Amarello. You'll find these same grapes being used in dry wine production, so if you come to Portugal, make it a point to frequent some quintas or wineries in the Douro Valley producing dry wine. Let's go ahead and start with our tasting today. I'm gonna to start with this fine ruby port. I'm gonna pick up this cute little glass. Um, ruby ports have to age a minimum of two years. Typically ruby port uh, is a bright red, kind of lighter in body, transparent color. It can be a little more garnet though, like in this case, it's a little fuller bodied. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take a sip. Mmm, that's gorgeous. It's rich, it's got some ripe red fruits, a little bit of sweetness, um, maybe even some darker blackberry fruit. Um, it has a nice finish and would pair wonderfully with some chocolate. The second wine I'm tasting today, let me grab this, is a 2012 late bottled vintage. This means it's wine from a single harvest. Um, it's been aged in oak for four to six years. The color on this is definitely opaque. Um, mm, this is a little deeper and more developed than the ruby port. It's got a lot of black fruit, definitely some cherry, some good complexity. I love the texture of this. It's got that nice light syrupy feel to it. I would go ahead and pair this as well with chocolate, but maybe add some Stilton and walnuts. Gorgeous. On to our third. Go ahead and get this. This is a Graham Six Grapes Reserve Port. This is a blend of premium ruby ports bottled after four to six years. It's got a dark color. Let me go ahead and smell it. Mmm. That's got some nice plums, cherries. Um, this is really nice and acidic. Even though it's a little bit thicker in body, it's got some good structure. This would pair really nicely with some blue cheese, chocolate, raspberries, blackberries. Okay. Lastly, we're going to taste some Graham's 10 year old Tawny Port. You can see this has a beautiful color. It's undergone some oxidation over time, plenty of time in the barrel. 
that barrel definitely comes out with some beautiful caramel vanilla toffee colors. This is a little bit honeyed and fig-like. I'm also getting a little bit of hazelnut, toasted almond. This would pair really well with bread pudding or apple pie. I hope you've enjoyed our port tasting today. It's been really fun to be here in Vila Nova de Gaia. Um, try some other styles. There's a huge range in price, sweetness, flavor. Meet me next week in Lisbon. We're gonna be doing a Vino Verde tasting. That should be a lot of fun. Email me if you have any questions, subscribe to my blog or YouTube channel, and cheers. We'll see you next week.